Hey, welcome back. Today, let's talk about the concept of pseudoset frame. This concept is being used by many big companies and some non-profit organizations. They can use that human desire to seek for completeness in their favor to increase their sales and the donations. Let's find out. In order to understand this complex idea in an easy way, let's have a look at these three photos and answer these questions. If you are saying yes to all three questions, then it is quite human of you. Human brains works like this, is always ready to wear different ambiguous information and try to thread them, tie them together in a fashion that it has got some idea or some previous knowledge on to achieve a sense of completeness. Our brain thinks this way that unknown things are threat to us. So by joining them together while making a pattern, we can relate with our existing ideas and there the threatening feel lowering down whereas the completeness is getting upper. And this is how our psychology works. And now we need to understand how this kind of brain functions can be used to grow your cells or make people donate more into your cause. So the definition of a pseudo set framing was first published in a journal of experimental psychology by a group of researchers. They defined this pseudo set framing in easy words, pseudoset framing is a practice to make an arbitrary set of similar kind of items to put in an imaginary basket to make you pay more uh, to get the basket of the things rather buying only one. The researchers classified an example where a group of people was approached to write some cards for the senior citizens. It has been noticed that people are only motivated to write a few cards before they call it a quit. However, when they approach the same thing with a pseudo set, meaning they put four cards in a pseudo set, they end up writing a few sets of cards. Uh, for example, if you say five sets they have written that accounts for 20 cards, whereas without a pseudo set, it was only a few cards, maximum eight to 10. So only by putting a pseudo set, they can double the outcome where keeping the effort to double the outcome intact because there is no new effort has been made to make or to encourage people write more. However, still the outcome is more just by putting this arbitrary basket, a pseudo set. The same study shows another example. In a situation where there are six disadvantaged children from a single family tend to get more donations than six disadvantaged children individually from other families. Here, the pseudo set is being formed by the family. Family as a pattern, as a basket here, forming the pseudo set, which makes the donors to pay more. Another example that during this pandemic and cyclones, all the calamities that we are going through, there is a huge upsurge of donations. And we can see in this situation, in order to encourage people to donate more, this pseudo set frame has been strategically used so that people can make more donations while seeking for their completeness. So now let's understand why this is happening. First reason is human beings are seeking the completeness, the sense of completeness, which gives us a satisfying mental state. And that is a pleasure to us. So we are always seeking for our own pleasure while making more donations, which is also helpful uh, for a good cause. The second one refers to the sense of a community. While donating more, 
we generate a sense of feel good feeling and now the question is of how how you me we can use this pseudo set framing in our business in in our area of work so that we can also be benefited by using this pseudo set framing first one whatever you are selling don't sell the products one by one rather sell the products in the basket putting multiple products in a single basket and sell the basket and make sure that at least one of the characteristics of the products that you put in one single basket is in common so that you can thread them together next would be make sure that you are not pushing the donors or the buyers limit so much that they don't want to even jump into it to start because we also have to understand that this strategy is based on the sense and the constant seeking of completeness of human brains and if you push that limit so much it can backfire how that if I already know that I cannot complete that task that will also encourage me not to start the work so that I don't generate any sense of incompleteness later. In that case, it is always better to make a pseudo set where the donors or the buyers are only pushing their limit to some extent, not too much. And finally, always show your donors and customers a scale that how much they have achieved so far in case of buying or in case of donation so a percentage might be helpful that it motivates them that the path they have already traveled and how much they are left with so they can push their limit according to their ability finally i would like to ask you a couple of questions that last time when you went to grab some fast foods from any fast food chains like McDonald's did you order only a burger or a meal with a burger or do you have only one Apple product or you would like to enjoy the whole ecosystem of Apple so you have multiple devices from Apple so now you know if these companies are making pseudo sets and calling them a meal or an ecosystem to make us pay more to them thank you